What up, Chet Spawnfins? Today I'm going to be doing a review of Hunt for the Decepticons, Strike 1 is Revenge of the Fallen, Siri, er, Tight, Tight, really. But, this is his customized version. So, if you don't want, if you want to see the real version, go to my other video. Don't have it right now. Well, it's up right now. So, if you don't want to see this one, then go to yeah. So, here it is. And I did do some filing down at here right before I made this video. Kind of grinded it off right there. And it kind of grinded off right there, too. Same with the other side, actually. So, he does have a little, well, you can't twist its legs a farther now, but not all the way because I didn't get to finish it at all. But it does do pretty good. So, that's something awesome. And also, the arms. Yeah, I had to break them off because the screen parts got dig so they couldn't be taken off. And only one survived right there. They do connect to the doors by three tabs. And it holds on to them pretty good. This gives him a Omega Supreme look. This is, this is the pose I kept on trying to reach, but I never got it. But this is what I had him at. So now it's kind of like Bumblebee, and if you think that's kind of weird, bring them. You can bring them down, and then you can do something like Sentinel Prime by making them way lower, make them look like a, uh, he has a cape. That's the Sentinel Prime look. So, so you can give this guy some different looks. And there is another thing I need to show you. Yeah, take these off. And then kind of lift that up. I removed the triangle. And now he's got free posing for the head. And then what you can do is you can put the wings in a storage. Well, kind of a storage spot. So they stay stored onto his back right there. Well, not the doors, but the main windows. So that's what he looks like. And his storage. But that they don't stay in very well. They don't have a snug and, and kind of... Put these in. What? Well, I'll do with that later. So, transform fans, I might have to end this. How bad is it bubbling? Yeah, my brother wants some noodles. So, he doesn't know how I'm making. That's kind of sad, but. Hey, he's sometimes lazy, so it's not his fault or anything. So, I just, yeah, I just did this review once I made my noodles, which was sometimes is a bad idea. So, what you want to do is plug the wings in. Ugh. Time to bring the wings up. Hey! Well, the door and wings. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. Now flip these in. He does have a kind of different transformation, but kind of okay. It's like piping. Ah. 
da 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 don't want my berries to run out. So, here he is. Posing it's like, what's the thing? So I had to give light piping since this guy is now available with his um, thing because you'll barely see it if you don't do this. So, then you can plug your shield in and, well, that in. And then the last peg stand. So and then you can make a sheet. So th that is why I showed you guys this. It's because you can get a hammer shield. So it's kind of like Sentinel Primes. Barely plugs in. So. That is something awesome about it. This guy. And my friend noticed this. Just before I start the transformation. I will do this. It takes a little transformation. Do. And I will lend him this guy for a few seconds. This is what he came up with. In the Protecticon team, this can become the head of the Protecticons. <clears throat> so, that is what my friend found out. You can make the Protecticon a, a protected, I mean a protected, but, don't know what I was thinking, right there. The tech, the bots can have a head. In a, addition to what he found was that you can get him some ears. Yeah, my sister came in and said that. Then give him some like whip ears or something like that. Whip antennas to the head, but. That is what you would get. So. Then but you get this. This is the head you have. Kind of connects into the body and gives them some things. So. <laughs> yeah. Kind of close now. Then he doesn't look as evil. So there he is in his thing, and then you want to kind of do a dip move for the head. Yeah, it kind of looks different. So what you want to do is get those arms back in place. They kind of, you want to do that? If you want to see the real review on the transformation, you might want to go to my real job video to see the transformation itself. And right now, we're just quickly transforming this guy into his car mode. Same transformation as usual, just you see something different at the bottom. And that it's a convertible now. And here's the convertible top, the shield. Just want to kind of click it in there. Yeah, it feels kind of cheating to me because he's not really getting the top coming up. So it kind of makes you feel like you're, you got cheating. 
transformer right there. I call it cheating because they're not really showing off the thing. That's true. They they just put a backup item. So I call it cheating. I'm not cheating here because Max I actually use these pieces and they do have uses in both modes. So that it's not technically cheating. It's it's a it's just a, a addition. Like uh, the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime didn't come with X. You had to buy X separately, so it's not cheating. Well, kind of. Yes, it is. I'm not. What? Finish it! I'm doing something. So, I'm gonna have to quit this video right after I get this guy done. <clears throat> then, kinda click those in. Same with the other side. Put the noodles in! Sean, just put the noodles in! So he wait. We had to put everything in. So here he is in his uh, Chevy Volt convertible version. I don't have the windshield piece because I kind of lost them because they fell off easily. So I couldn't get them anywhere. I can't find them anywhere. I only have one, so I'm not daring to put any on. And I'm gonna do a repaint of this guy. He's gonna be the same guy. Then after this repaint, he's gonna be he's gonna be a different guy. Well, maybe I might do a second repaint. So there, this is a secret cannon mode. Does have the perfect rolling that on the bottom. This uh, front, there he is, and see you later. Next, see you next time, Transform fans, and some other reviews. And stick stick around for my little uh mascot. I think I am around here. Might, uh, oh yeah, I don't know where he is. A little good by this guy power him up. Yeah, <clears throat> so see you later, Transformers fans. Is mascot right now, and see you later.